going on to you Pisces so you Pisces actually have the knight of cups the three of cups and the judgment so these three cards right here for you um you Pisces are very much so uh you um being misunderstood pretty much around this time but it, it seems as if a lot of you Pisces may be a little bit too caught up with that um there's this sense of you Pisces needing to learn to get over that because the Three of Cups represents uh, people appreciate you, even the dysfunctional ones. They unfortunately just don't appreciate you when you're in their face. But they appreciate you, you know, when you're gone. They're dysfunctional. What can I say? So what comes with that is the Ten of Swords. You Pisces have essentially done enough. You've sacrificed. Y'all have been the scapegoats enough to the point where you Pisces pretty much can do whatever it is that you want to do. You don't have to you don't have to worry so much about being self-sacrificing. You've already done that more than enough, right? Um the 7 of cups represents how so now you get a basically a, a chance of the pick of the litter. You get to do pretty much whatever it is that you ultimately want to do. And what I mean by that is you're in a particular situation, my dear Pisces, where you're free, right? Like the, the indentured servitude crap that people were trying to get you to be up underneath like you were a beast of burden. That's lifted. That that spiritually has lifted. And you, and you, Pisces, have to thank yourselves for lifting it because that's the whole point. You get to a point where you sacrifice so much for others. And you do so much for others when your mind and your heart is in the correct place. But you're not doing it transact for, for, tra for transactional purposes. And when people do it to, to on some transactional purposes to you, a lot of you Pisces are now in a situation where you get tired, right? You get tired of constantly essentially sticking your neck out for other people. And other people, unfortunately, doesn't. They don't seem to want to be able to do the very same to you. It just seems like they're just very selfish and very caught up with whatever they've got going on. And it sucks. It sucks because now it's like they don't appreciate it. But that's how the story is. That's just how things are. Truly responsible people who are decent, they'll never, tr and I've said this before, they'll never truly get the admiration that they deserve because it because they would have to give you the shirt off of their back they 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 would have to let you be in their homes they can't you dig what i'm saying you know what i mean so the thing so the, seriously so the thing is that the the uh oh so the seven of cups represents you get to do whatever it is that you want to do and the nine of swords now is about how since that's the case you're living your life enjoying yourself basically because you're in a particular situation my dear pisces where for you you are very much so you are 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 very much so free so but you're tired and what i mean when i say tired i'm not meaning it as an insult i mean tired in, in the sense that if your mind and your heart have been and see tired right you, if your mind and your, if you know in your mind in your heart that you've been doing so much for so many people you've been busting your butt you've been you tired what you going through right now pisces is actually what you're supposed to be going through because you're going through a metamorphosis right now you're at a time where the nine of swords are all about how you are at a point where you're like i said the Four of Pentacles, right? I, I, last week, if I'm not mistaken. No, Four of Pentacles a few days ago. You're learning how to take care of yourself again. Like, you know how when you're a little one, your parents have to take care of you. And then when you reach to a teenager, you learn that you have to take care of yourself. But, but it's like for you, Pisces, it's like you're going through a second childhood in a sense that you're learning how to take care of yourself all over again. And one of the things that you're learning how to do is to kind of be, yes, a little bit more selfish in a sense that 
selfish in the right way, not selfish in the wrong way. Because what most people do when it comes to them being selfish, they're selfish in the wrong way in the sense that they're just selfish and there's no real cause for it, right? They, there's not really a good mix of sticking your neck out for people and actually doing something for others, but then at the same time, also doing that to a point and learning how to look out for yourself and take care of yourself, right? When most people are selfish, it's selfishness to the point of mental illness. It's like, what are you doing? It's like, why are you so selfish to, to that extreme degree? So now this gives you, Pisces, fairness to where the where fortune is on your side. You get to be selfish now. And the Four of Swords represents how, you know, some of you Pisces may even be interacting with some people right now and they're expecting you to do all the work and it's just not working out for them because you Pisces are not at the mercy of other people's desires in the sense that they want you to come talk to them even if they were to dub you and say no, they want you to come talk to them because they can't talk to other people because they're broken up about it. They can't do it. They can't do it. They can't talk to other people. They'll be too broken up about that type of stuff. They're scared, in other words. So that so like people who don't want other people who only want other people to do the approaching is it's because of fear. It's because of it. And I'm not the only one that, that knows this. Other people are starting to talk about it too. It's because of fear. Because we're adults. We're supposed to learn how to do both. So it's like, whenever it is that you see that, it's the same thing with you. People want you to come over to talk to them exclusively. You must do it exclusively. Uh, as far as other adults, you may not know this. I'm just, I'm just telling you about the dynamic. They want you to come talk to them because they can't do it. Because you telling them, nah, you good, shake them to their core. <laughs> so the thing is that the Ace of Cups now represents as a result. So you're in a particular situation, my dear uh, Pisces, where for you, so what do you do? What do you do in that situation? You talk to other people. You are looking for, remember Pisces, Right now, you are looking or you are looking for someone that is reciprocal, meaning they give back and it's not transactional. It's not what you do, what you're going to do for me. This is what it is I do for you. It's not business. What it is, is, is that it's a sense of they have a sense of them wanting to give because it comes from their heart. They're not keeping score as to one for one anyone who's keeping score stuff like this those are not your friends those are not your relationship interests that's one of the things that i used to look out for when it comes to when i used to hang out with my friends so-called friends it was them being transactional because the thing for me is is that i don't have a whole lot to give when i was younger i didn't have a whole lot to give i don't they're looking at me like X, Y, Z. It's like, okay, my family works. I don't have a job though. My family, it does that. My siblings do that. But I personally have no money in my pocket. I'm trying to learn how to figure out how to have. If I had, I would give. And it's, you know what I mean? So, oh man, am I bleeding? Don't tell me I'm bleeding. Oh, well, that's what happens when you got earrings. But anyway, sorry about that, y'all. I, I thought I had jammed myself up. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. But anyway, so the King of Swords is always something, right? So the King of Swords and the, the Nine of Wands is about how, since that's the case, um, a lot of you very much so are in a particular situation where for you, uh, the King of Swords and the Nine of Wands that's going to be the catch 22 when it comes to other people who are trying to take something from you they're not going to be able to get anything from you why because a lot of you pisces are doing it the correct way
When I was younger, I used to think to myself, I used to get so upset because I'm like, why is it that people want me to take responsibility for everything and be their savior and do all this and, and, and be their scapegoat? What's up with that? And I used to be, I used to be angry. I used to be visibly upset sometimes or visibly angry because I used to, because I used to think to myself, these people expect me to be, you know, you know, and what I mean when I say these people, I'm talking about, you know, how when you interact with other people, they're always expecting you to take responsibility for, for their dysfunctions and whatever it is that they need help. They lean, they lean, these are adults, both sides, they lean extra hard on you. But then when it comes to you needing some help or whatever, or you need some sort of assistance or whatnot, the task is too great for one person, right? They always talking about, nah, I'm good. Then when I got to a certain age, right? I want to say in 2020, as, as late or as early in 2020, where I started to learn how to integrate or mix integrate or mix the light and the dark sides of me that I, that mentality changed in the sense that i realized i'm not trying to cause people's destruction or any of that type of stuff what i want is or oh, oh, run around and do people dirty right just to kind of show people that no that will cause much more harm than good what i realized is I'm not necessarily going to metaphorically backstab people, but at the same time, I'm not gonna be people's pack mule either. I'm not gonna be their scapegoat either. This ideology that I need to constantly do things for other people, that's a duh, because other people want me to be at the mercy of their desires. I, I'm not doing that. I will do what it is that I can and I will do what I want to do. If I want to, you know, be generous, which I can be generous, then I'll be generous. But I'm not going to go above and beyond and break myself and bend over backwards and really put myself at in, 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 in harm's way, so to speak. In order for me to in order for me to stick my neck out for anyone that does not really appreciate it. And that's the same scenario that you Pisces are in. And and this nine of wands represents this is what a lot of people can't take right now. This is what your exes, your recent exes can't take. This is what some people that you are just now coming around to get to know can't take. A lot of people can't take the fact that. They expected the Pisces fish to just be harmless, but they forgot that a fish is, is a species of fish is a great white shark too. They don't remember that part. So let's clarify the King of Swords. King of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Four of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, Six of Cups. Like I said, exes. Six of Cups. Exes are coming back. Trying to reach back out. But again, King of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Things have changed. People have to be reciprocal. If they can't, you're not going to be around. Four of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. You, have all, you know what it's like to be with them already. You know that there's nothing in it for you. So why would you decide to be hanging out with them again? The answer is you're not. So that's, pre so that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. I just want to go ahead and say thank you to everybody. Smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, hit the notification bell, set the notification bell to all so you'll be notified whenever I drop my videos. Also, too, for all you Pisces, right? Come through and get a personal reading from me, all right? So I can most definitely keep the show going. Peace.